Welcome to Dreams to Reality 21 Questions Manifestation Series. This is part four of seven, which are based on the seven main chakras and 12 life categories. If you haven't already, go watch part one through three first. The links are in the description down below. Today is Thursday, day four, which relates to the heart chakra and the life categories, family, and relationship. Today, we're going to do this a little different. I'm going to post the question and exercises here. And I'm actually going to discuss my answers and give a little bit more insight about myself. <gasps> so let's get started. <laughs> You guys okay. can read the question and the exercise here. My mother was so focused on her spirituality and being a great mother and wife to a detriment to her health. She didn't balance loving herself, building a solid financial foundation, living out her true life purpose with her amazing gifts and talents. Like, I really wish that she lived for herself a little bit more, balanced living for herself as much as she did for us and her spirituality. So I will be living out her legacy by balancing it all. Number 10, <laughs> question and exercise with D. We have fun creating projects together with T, emotional activities together. Anything that has to do with cuddling, like movie time. I share mommy son dates with both my sons. All three of us share a passion for building. So Legos is our family project. Like we love it. Making YouTube content is one movie nights. We love movie nights. I just love creating with my sons. My sons are so creative and brilliant, and I just love them. They are my sons. They literally shine. They turn my shine on. Number 11, question and exercise here. The love of my life, I am his, and he is mine. I don't care what nobody say. But through our journey... Oh, it took a lot of healing. And I have a poem for the day that I finally just let that hurt go for real, for real. Um, I will link that in the description below. Um, it's a poem called End of Game. I believe that for a relationship to work, that you have to be completely healed in yourself or be with someone that's willing to stay and put up with you and your emotions through the healing process. Number 12, question and exercise. I'm a strong believer in, first, self-love. Self-love for all. If you don't love yourself, you cannot love the next. You cannot, and I love everybody, I, but it doesn't matter if I don't love myself first. Like, I have to balance love for all. I've learned to love myself in every way. Um, I literally, I, I learned to put myself first. I know that sounds selfish, but if I do not love myself, I cannot love the next. I'm not whole enough to love anyone else. And I started my brand, Sacred Subtlety Bath and Beauty, because I, like my mother, always focused on being the perfect spiritual wife and mother that I didn't take care of myself. What started out as self-care Sundays for myself turned into family spa days. So that's the prime example of me loving myself and how it, how it spills over into loving everyone else. I truly believe that the more you love yourself, the more you focus on your purpose, the one that's meant for you will come into your life. Like I said, this is my favorite subject, y'all. So 
that's the end of this video. Links in the description below. Tap in and stay tuned. Subscribe, like, comment if you haven't. My love, like my mama used to always tell me, love yourself.